News from Rome? My daughter Julia has died in childbirth. I agree with you. Pompey will be needing a new wife. Uncle Julius intends to marry you to Pompey Magnus. My personal standard was stolen by brigands. The legions were already homesick and surly when the eagle was taken. Now they're positively mutinous. Legionary Titus Pullo, you're to be released to the command of Second Spear Centurion Lucius Varinus to retrieve Caesar's eagle. <laughs> I am a Roman citizen of noble birth, and I order you to cut these ropes. Say please. Hello. Blue Spaniards. One of Pompey's men. The battle begins. What happens in January when your term runs out and we're still sitting here? Three hours away from a wife he hasn't seen in eight years. The man's terrified. You're alive. We are here to discuss Caesar's resignation. What should be your punishment, Pompey? For deserting the cause of your people? For allying yourself with these so-called noblemen? Impudent whelp! By order of the Senate, Gaius Julius Caesar is declared an enemy of Rome! The nobles say that he wishes to march on Rome and make himself king. No man of honor would follow him. Well, I'm no man of honor then. Our beloved Republic is in the hands of madmen. No blood! Are you with me? What's going to happen? The war is going to happen. Caesar has crossed the Rubicon. It's an act of gross treason. <laughs> never see your husband now. Him and all the rest of them are doomed. You don't know that. Everybody knows that. You cannot stay. I can do as I wish. If Caesar were here now, I would stab him in the neck. I'll give you a moment. If there are gods you'd like to speak to. I've done my duty and I have sinned enough. I resign. You can't just leave the 13th. But he has ruined us all! You have lost Rome! It's not certain that I'd say your secret's safe. Tell me you love him. I will go away and I will never come back. Without the gold, he has nothing. You've entered the city under arm. The gods know my intentions are peaceful. We have hard fighting ahead. I'm fighting against Rome. Blood is blood. Whatever misfortune befalls you, we're still friends, no? By sunrise, everyone in Rome will know what you did and where you are. Here, in my house. The tide turns already. You vowed you would hold your peace. Have I not held my peace? Suppose you saw something which made you suspect something. Something terrible. He knows, Rissa, he knows. You seduced him, you sly little fox. Don't leave me again. Be rid of her and we'll divorce. No. We'll follow. This man has done faithful vigil for you. Take him under your protection. The city will be in your charge. I'm a soldier, not a peacekeeper. Did he not surrender? There are other ways to make money. The ram has touched the wall. No mercy. My dear Mark Anthony, I found myself badly outnumbered. Now Pompey is chasing me. Caesar is doomed, and you with him. Whatever others might do, you are blameless, I know that. I'm thinking ahead. You've put off this moment long enough. I shall be a good politician, even if it kills me, or anyone else for that matter. I will not leave a 
rather die than leave her. You're a thief and a whore and you stole my heart or nothing. You could be the first man in Rome if you wanted. I hadn't thought about it like that. News from Greece. Caesar is now surrounded and severely outnumbered. The decisive battle begins today. We must win or die. I just want this vile war to be over, one way or the other. The Republic lives as long as we do. Do not talk to me of the Republic. I don't know if Renus is alive or dead. A man should be made an example of. It is I that offers mercy, no one else. This is where we die. Domina, word from Greece. I've defeated Pompey Magnus. I think I can handle a small boy. We were going to make him a body. A moving arms and legs. He was a consul of Rome! Give me the man that took Pompey's life. Attack Caesar. Are you serious? Your name would live forever. Who knows where Cleopatra is? I shall find her. She wants me bad. <laughs> Majesty commands you will enter. I am your slave. For an oath of loyalty. Not to Antony. Nothing escapes me. The Julian sun has risen and banished Pompeii night forever! Are you home for good now? No more soldiering for me. You, a soldier boy. Do not let me see you on this street again. With the gods' help, I can destroy him. Tell me a secret. Something shocking. What sort of man asks for mercy? I am not. Proud. Lucius Varinus will apologize to me. If he does not do this, I will come here and kill him. She lied to turn you against me. What have I done? Senators, join with me in building a new Rome. Oppose me, and Rome will not forgive you a second time. As long as you and I know where we stand. Where do we stand? What have they done to you? Justice will find them eventually. I'm quite sure of that. I forgive you. What if I don't forgive? You said Caesar was a traitor, and he tosses you some coin and he's savior of the Republic. Stand up! You might have me killed. Stay away from me. Playing at being God? I'm not playing. A new era begins for all Rome. People will not accept a tyrant's death unless Brutus holds the knife. Give us a word for me. Come back tomorrow, same time. Ah! You have corrupted one man and saved thousands. I need your help. Will you talk to her for me? You're in every war with a knife at my throat. Only tyrants worry about tyrant killers. I can't call the boys off now. You don't understand what is at stake. Who loves life? I must do my duty. He knows. We must act soon. He thinks we are cowards. Guard and keep my enemies away. They can do nothing about my friends. This is not some cheap murder. It must be done honorably. With our own hand. You present me with a dilemma. What am I to do with you? What's wrong? We must reckon with Lucius Varinus. I will make you suffer slowly and deeply. You'll make a lot of men very angry. 